no more civil judgments will appear on your credit report. Now, typically, people would place or companies would place those items on your report to basically punish you, uh, to let future potential lenders know about your credit worthiness or lack thereof. And so now they don't have that option to punish you by, you know, going and getting a judgment against you. Well, they're going to get a judgment anyway for the garnishment, but then also having that place on your credit report. So I believe that garnishments will be on the rise because now, they need to go after you to make sure that they get their money. It's not an incentive for you anymore because that would be an incentive. You don't want it on your credit report. Or you want it to come off your credit report. So that would be your incentive to go ahead and pay them. Since they don't have that option anymore, then garnishments, I believe, will be on a rise. So make sure, make sure that you, um, you start contacting people. I talked about ignoring your creditors. Same thing with this. Do not ignore these people. Now, you can put them off for a month or what have you, but do not ignore these people because eventually it'll come back to bite you. And if you're in contact with them, you can always push them back some. You know, you can always say, hey, I don't have the money right now. I can do it in three months and see what they say. They may wait the three months. They may decide, hey, we're not waiting three months and come after you anyway, but it's better to go ahead and talk to them, talk to them than not to talk to them. When you're talking to them, be cautious with the information that you provide and give up. Try not to give up your social security number, your birth date, where you work at, all of those things. Try not to give that information up because they will use that information against you. All right, so let me get to this other thing right quick so we can get out of here. Um, seven, I'm on like number seven. So number seven, applying everywhere. It hurts you. And here's why it hurts you if you apply for credit any and everywhere. Um, first, the inquiry. It costs you points every time you go and apply, whether you're approved or denied, it's going to cost you points. I always say two, four, or maybe even six points, but experience says five to 10 points per. So if you apply five times um, somewhere, you can get deemed 50 points, up to 50 points just for applying five times. So it impacts you that way. You don't want that to happen to you at all. And again, whether you're approved or not, and that really seems like a double whammy. First, you get denied and it still hurts your credit score. So then, so that's one thing. The second thing that it, that it hurts you with is um, it dramatically lowers your length of history because your length of history isn't that I've had credit since, you know, 2000. That's not your length of history. Your length of history is really your average time that you've had credit. So if you go and get five new accounts all in the same um, time frame, it's going to dramatically lower your length of history. Your length of history is 15% of what your credit score is. So if you do that, so if you had a length of history that said five years, now you've applied five times, got five new accounts within the last three months. Now, maybe your length of history says it's only one year. That's a negative for you, and it's going to negatively affect your credit score Be doing so in such a short period of time. So by doing just this one action, Applying everywhere five to ten times or what have you, you're impacting 25% of your score at bare minimum. That's what you're doing. If you actually get some accounts, and let's say they're credit card accounts, you get some accounts, you actually charge those, um, charge on those accounts, and yet threshold from your balances to your limits is above 30%, you affect another 30%. So more than half of your credit um, score is affected by you doing just that, applying in and everywhere. So do not do that. Be strategic about what you're going to do and only apply for credit when you absolutely need it. Now, of course, there's a caveat to that. If it's a mortgage or if it's a car loan, those are the only two places. You can't go and apply for you know five different credit cards at the same time and it counts as one. That's not how it works. But what you can do if you're shopping for a car, a two-week window, if you're shopping for a mortgage, you have a two-week window. So the very first time that you apply for that mortgage, if you want to apply with somebody else the next day, knock yourself out. If you want to apply three places in the same day, knock yourself out. Go ahead and do that, and it'll only impact your credit score as if it was one inquiry and not the three, four, or five inquiries that you had. So look, before I get out of here, I got a couple more shout-outs I've got to get to. I got to give a shout-out to uh, Patrice Walker. Happy birthday to you, Patrice, a very, very nice young lady, member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Happy birthday to you. Ella Hollis, I'm going to say this, and I never say anybody's 
uh, age, but Ella's having a huge, huge, huge 40th birthday party. So happy birthday to you, Ella. Happy, happy birthday to you. Enjoy yourself. And then I want to say happy birthday or no, I don't. I don't want to say happy birthday. I want to say Felice Cuplianos to Rhonda Nicholson. She'll get that. So uh, Felice Cuplianos to you, Rhonda. Happy birthday to Patrice as well. And happy 40th birthday to Ella Hollis as well. And so um, before I get out of here, you guys, I'm going to give you a credit score kiss today. We haven't done one in a while. So kiss is keep it smart and simple. I want you to read the article that I wrote and it's entitled Ignoring ignoring creditors i'm gonna post that article of course right after the show all over the place so if you follow me on any one of those sites or you follow me personally on facebook it'll be there you can read that article that's your credit score um kiss for this week all right you guys so before i get out of here you know how i gotta do it kobe cameron and carter i love you and there's nothing you can do about it i'm out